So if you drive 30 minutes east from Palermo down the coast, and then another 10 minutes south, you'll run into a rural, hilly, tiny village with a population of only 5,000 people known as Cerda. Cerda is the town where my great-grandfather, Carlo Sheyusa, was born and lived until 1897, when he got on a ship sailing to America when he was just 19 years old. And here's my mother talking about visiting Cerda for the first time over 10 years ago. And we drove, and the very first stop was Cherda. The man that worked in the, the municipal office, and he pulled out this shoebox kind of thing. All of a sudden, a female policewoman shows up, and she was able to tell us to just go with her. And we finally arrive at that house, the mailbox. Mm -hmm. It said Sousa. Yeah. The, the man started spreading <laughs> photographs, and it was a feeling of when you've achieved something that you've always wanted to do all your life. You think about things that you want to do before you die, and that was always one of them. We used this same recording in our film Suono Delisola when the main character visits Cerda and comes upon a statue symbolizing what they are most famous for there. They had fields and fields of artichokes, and it was one of their main products. My dad thought it was funny. They loved artichokes so much that they actually had a monument. So this place, this artichoke statue, our film, my mother, our family, it all intersects right here in this little piazza. So for me, this was obviously an important stop on the journey and I couldn't have been more blown away by the reception we received from the amazing people of Cherda and from the Shayusa family, my family. So Francesco, the great friend and producer he is, without me knowing, spoke with the mayor of Cerda and my family and set up this whole Festa de Carciofo just for us. It was so amazing. Friends, family, live music, dancing, and of course the star of the show, Il Carciofo. Well, Mayor, I want to thank you so much Grazie for mille. organizing this amazing carciofo festa. Questa vero festa del carciofo. It's amazing. And I, I wanted to ask you about um, what the importance of the artichoke is to Cerda. Intanto grazie a te. Ufficialmente il benvenuto da parte di tutta la popolazione cerdese. Noi amiamo e rispettiamo le persone che hanno a cuore Cerda, sono di fuori, sono nel mondo e hanno sempre testa e cuore per Cerda. L'importanza del carciofo, il carciofo è la materia principe, il prodotto principe, attorno al carciofo si muove la maggior parte dell'economia agricola di Cerda, tant'è che è stata eretta questa statua proprio in rappresentanza del carciofo, quindi mangiare genuino, mangiare i carciofi di Cerda è salutare ed è di moda. Assolutamente, è anche di moda, quindi assolutamente sì. Facciamoci un applauso tutti così. Viva Cerda, viva Cerda, viva Cerda del mondo. E grazie alla famiglia Sheusa. Grazie, 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 grazie. grazie, grazie, grazie. grazie, grazie. Hey guys, thank you so much again. This is incredible. I'm, I'm emotional here. Uh, I feel so happy to be here amongst my family, 
and for where my roots are grown. And uh, it's nice to know that there's such a warm people here in Sherida. It makes me proud, and I'm going to be proud to share this experience with my family and with the world. Bravo! Thank you! Thank you! Now I'm gonna eat the pasta. Come on, that's not dumb. Oh no, oh no, oh, very good, sir. Very good, very good. Grazie, chef. The folks here take artichokes really seriously, and they explain to me the ins and outs of all the ways to prepare artichokes, like artichoke pesto, artichoke caponata, which I was really excited about. <laughs> Grilled artichokes. Everyone was having the time of their lives, eating, laughing, getting artichoke crazy out there. And I just felt a beautiful energy in Cherta. So much love. And speaking of love, just look at this. To top it off, they brought some guys in to make fresh cannoli. Mamma Mia, just watch this. Canola, 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 baby. Canola. This is it, this is life. There was one last thing I had to do. Like any good Sicilian son, I had to call my mom. Ciao, mama! Oh, no. <laughs> hey, guess where we are? How are you, everyone? Good. Fine, Good to see you. We have some Sheyusas right here. Okay. So I want to show you. Uh, what they did for us here, okay, mom, in honor in honor of the Sheyusas and of Cherida. Pasta with artichoke pesto and ragotta. We finished it off with uh, this right here. Uh, fresh cannoli, okay? And this is the best one we've had so far in Sicily. This one right here was delicious. And today's a special day, yeah? Yes, today is my father's birthday. Would be so proud that you were in the town of his father's birth. Just really, it's just fantastic. Oh, 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 oh. Nice there to meet Angelo. you. Here we are Angelo. Angelo. And then we have Salvatore Sh Shousa there. You can all come visit us in America, okay? Okay, we're going to say bye now, okay, Mama? Okay. okay, love you. We'll talk soon. Okay. Ciao. Arrivederci. Ciao. 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 Ciao from Cherida. <laughs> Say bye to the artichoke one last time. What a day. Just an unforgettable afternoon. If there's one aspect of my life that feels like it's out of a novel or a dream, it's this place. It's Cherda. So we headed back up the hills to the coast. And just 30 kilometers east of Cherda is one of the most beautiful places in Sicily. Cefalu. Cefalu is a gorgeous medieval beach town dating back as far as the 9th century BC. The small winding roads are filled with history. It's one of the first places I ever visited with my family, and I've been back many times. I just feel amazing energy flowing through this town. The antiquity, the beauty, it just makes you feel happy to be alive. And at the edge of town, ancient fortress walls extend into the sea, providing a beautiful place to watch the sunset and maybe make some new friends. So Every year you come to Cefalu. Yeah. E poi perché la spiaggia è la più bella di tutte. Sì. 
because the, the beach there is the better in Sicily, maybe. Do you think it's the Sicilia best one? Yeah. I agree. I think I think this is the nicest beach here in yeah. all of Sicily. I mean, look at this thing. It's no, gorgeous. No, it's incredible, I think. Facciamo le isole Olie, poi facciamo Taormina, poi facciamo l'Enna. Ci fermiamo un attimo, riprendiamo il tour, facciamo Enna. Caltanissetta. Vabbè, dove, dove si firma? Everywhere. <laughs> uh, uh, they say where we have to uh, put a signature. For say we does. It's trouble. Cadete, è un macello. Un casino. Un po' casino. It's a really beautiful place over here. You can sit right down by the rocks. Ah, oh, ok. Do you want to eat with us? Vuoi te mangiare? Eh, ora vediamo, dai. Let's see. Let's figure it out. Let's figure it out? Yeah. Ok. You got 10 seconds to decide. Ok, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Abbiamo bisogno di 5 tempi. Dite voi, libera. You know what they call that? Swing and a miss. Arrive in Salina, mate. Well, to be fair, I wasn't lying about the restaurant. Right down along the coast, there's an amazing place to dine among the sea and the rocks. Itiko Cucina, as you may have guessed, specializes in fresh seafood. This place has every kind of fresh fish and shellfish you can think of. And I just have to say to the lobster that I'm sorry, but we are going to eat you. Ah, yikes. Sorry, pal. Yeah, so the special that evening was pasta with lobster. And after murdering the lobster, or aragosta as it is called here, it's pan seared with some butter, oil, a couple cherry tomatoes, parsley. Throw it on a hot flame for a few minutes. You'll create an amazing and simple sauce for the pasta. Next step is to put the crustacean off to the side. Cook your tagliatelle al dente. Dump it in the remaining juices. Toss or around, mix it up good. Slide it all gently onto a plate, and there it is. Tagliatelle alla Aragosto di Cefalu. <sighs> Anyone else hungry? got the best seat in the house, down the mini pier that juts out over the rocks. What a pleasant location and moment to relax and enjoy some chilled vino bianco and the house antipasti of mixed fresh seafood. First time I came to Chapalu, I came alone. My parents had been here and they said, Mike, you gotta stop in Chapalu. It's a beautiful place, beautiful beach. I came here, I was walking around for a place for dinner. And I found this place and I looked in the back, I was like, What? I was like, What? Yeah, I'm gonna Where go I'm gonna go eat with all the rocks here. So yeah. in the US. Because you can't even fathom getting something like this, right? Fresh seafood, out of the sea, right here. Clams, mussels, octopus, squid, shrimp. Go so fresh, and you just oil, a little lemon, and a lemon, and stop. Here we have for you. Grazie. Have a nice dinner. Grazie. Grazie. So. It's good pasta. Tell me, Frank. What would be your dream next? project, next production. Yeah, man. So, I have an idea it's about my uncle, Salvatore. Mm -hmm. It's a story, it's a love story in a World War II. World War, World War II. II? Yeah. Okay. It was a partisan mm -hmm. that fight against fascist man, Nazi. They start from Sicily and... So it's a Sicilian kind of war story? 
Yeah. Yeah. From World War II. That's, that sounds really cool. That's interesting. Well, I think Sicily's great for a period piece, right? Yeah. I want to continue to make films here. That's the point of making even this show, is that I want to show that this island has so much potential to make films. Yeah. So whether it's a travel show, whether it's the film we've already made, whether it's another story, whether it's a war story, just keep doing it, keep proving to the rest of the world yeah, that and this is an incredible place yeah, yeah. to make movies. movies. And it, all it's going to do is help drive tourism, help drive the economy here. How has there not already been a travel show that's all about Sicily? It's shocking to me. Yeah. Did we really order a secondi? Of course we did, because I still had to have my favorite dish, grilled fish. And Frank had some calamari. But when I think of grilled fish, which I think about often, because it's yeah. nice, yeah. I think of this restaurant, I think of a fish just like this, freshly caught, and it was like eight years ago. You know, you deal with a couple bones, okay? That's gonna happen. There's no bones about it. <laughs> On the other side of Rochi de Cefalu, you find rolling hills and gorgeous properties along the coast. One of these gems was a stunning villa with its own little Torre del Castello. 150-year-old Villa Palamara sits halfway up a mountain overlooking the sea and the city. The property has a restaurant, an orchard, a church, dozens of apartments, and it's just a beautifully maintained classic Sicilian villa. Our purpose there was to meet with Chef Antonio Serecci. And at that particular moment, his restaurant was closed. So he offered to give us a good old fashioned Sicilian cooking lesson. So tell us, what are we making today, Chef? Uh, pasta, uh, fresh sauce. Fresh sauce, we're starting with the sauce. sauce. Okay. And we start with the fresh tomatoes. Fresh tomatoes, okay. okay. The primi would be pasta alla norma. What size it's chunks are we going with here? In four pieces enough. Quarters is enough. Yes. Everything would be made from scratch. We started with the fresh tomato sauce. In Sicily, most recipes are insanely simple. The sauce is tomato, garlic, basil. Some basil here. He's not ripping the leaves up, nothing. Just throwing the whole thing in there. And the main ingredient in the Norma is melanzane, the eggplant. This is very typical Sicilian salad. Okay. 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 Insalata di arance finocchi. Salad with orange, fennel, and a little onion. We made fennel and blood orange salad. Salt uh, hands, okay. okay. You know what we call this? We call this Christmas cheer. Yeah? The top of the fennel. It's Christmas cheer, yeah? Christmas cheer on top. Yes. This is from here. This is wood and uh, fresh olive oil. Okay, we can see it. And continued with swordfish rolls. Stuffed with breadcrumbs, walnuts, raisins, capers, and cheese. So roll that up like a joint there. bit of that blood orange juice on top. And last but not least, we made fresh pasta from semolina and zero zero flour. We kneaded, rolled, and cut our tagliatelle by hand. Also had a little fun using the pasta maker. By this time, our sauce was just about ready. Mmm! Oh, it's so right. sweet! Oh, it's so good. Fresh pasta only takes a few moments in boiling salty water before it's ready to mange. It's ready. Well, let's go. Yeah. Just a few last steps before plating and eating could finally commence. And what a spot to have lunch. The terrace at Villa Palamara is incredible.
the owner, Francesco Palomara, joined us for the feast that was prepared. And lunch was pure joy up here at his villa. There was something magical about this place. Frank and I both felt it. And who could have thought that after our conversation the previous night about making a World War II film about Sicilians, that this place, Villa Palomaro, in Cefalu, would serve as the primary location for our next film. And you can watch our film, My Dear Salvatore, streaming now on webeam.it. cannoli so far here in Cherida. This shell is unbelievable. Yeah. So light and crisp. Guys, you're winning the cannoli contest. Avete right vinto okay? il contest dei cannoli. Bravissimo. <laughs> 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 <laughs>